Hi everyone, Mike Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. We've been talking about quality and we've talked about light and color. All these factors that still work with my mantra, garbage in, garbage out, starting with the highest quality and carrying it through. It's essential to have your camera set up and your computer and Photoshop set up properly and so that you understand what's going on so that you can utilize these tools in the maximum way to get the best results. In this lesson, we're going to discuss white balance in your camera and how we can correct it in Photoshop and monitor calibration, the final step in getting everything set up, the camera and the computer, so that Photoshop works well for you. So let's get started with white balance. What is white balance? It's the attempt to correct an image so that the colors appear natural to the human eye. Um, the human eye and brain, we have different light sources. There's daylight, there's uh, fluorescent lights, there's incandescent bulbs in your house which are simply very warm lights. Um, there's lighting outdoors in a uh, football uh, game, the different color temperature lights up in the lights there. But in every circumstance, your eye seems to see the color exactly the same, whether it's daylight or a fluorescent light or an incandescent bulb. That's because you've seen it enough and the brain knows how to compensate for what the lighting conditions are and make you appear to see it the same in all situations. The camera doesn't know how to do that. The camera is only capturing light. Whatever the light sources are, it just captures it. So the manufacturers have added presets called white balance presets to attempt to correct for these different color temperatures that occur with the different light sources and conditions. Um, let me give you a couple of examples of how this works. For example, light in the shade on a sunny day is actually bluish because you're not getting the yellow light from the sun that's being blocked by the shaded whatever shading you you're getting the light from the sky which is blue so in truth of fact the light is very very blue and so the camera needs to make a compensation for that so that it appears natural light from an incandescent light bulb that you have at home a reading light a standard light bulb is 3200 degrees Kelvin natural daylight which your mind is balancing to is 5500 degrees Kelvin it's much hotter so being lesser temperature it's very yellow reddish you see this but your eye compensates the manufacturer also has to compensate for that and the different ones let 